Hey guys, my name is Shane. Um, I'm so excited to be working with you today. I just wanted to give you a little bit of history about uh, myself and the sport of jump rope. So I started jumping almost 25 years ago. So probably when I was pretty close to your age um, and immediately fell in love with it because it is such a great form of exercise. Um, it taught me so much about moving my body, being in tune with my body. Um, and that is something I've really learned to value over the years. And one of the cool things about being a part of jump rope for so long is that I got to compete um, for many, many, many years on different levels. And so I got to compete um, on a state level, a regional level, national, and even world level. Um, and the cool thing about that is I got to meet friends from all over the world, all over the country, and uh, also was able to travel. So um, just a great experience. It uh, lets you meet a lot of new friends and takes you to places that you never thought you'd go. Hey guys, my name is Shane. I'm so excited to jump up with you today, but first we've got to get warmed up, nice and stretched out and get some blood flowing. So we're going to do that quickly and we're going to start with some arm circles, nice little baby ones uh, moving backwards. And as we go, we're going to get a little bigger and a little more bigger. Let's see how big you can go. Let's do five here. And then we're going to whoop, Reverse and go forward, starting with little baby circles. And as we move, we'll get a little bigger, a little bigger until we can do five of the biggest circles that we can. Perfect. And now we're going to take our right hand and put it across our body and take our left hand and grab that elbow and just pull it in close. Maybe while we're doing this, we can uh, spin in a little circle. Nice and fun, and then go ahead and switch. So left arm across your body, take your right, pull that elbow in close, and we'll spin in a circle the other way. Just get those feet moving a little bit. Perfect. Now I'm going to take your left foot, bring it up to your bum, and pull that leg close. You should feel this stretch on the front of our leg here. Oops, this is good for balance. Hold it for three more seconds. One, two, three, and we're gonna switch sides. Left leg up. Gonna bring that heel all the way to your bum. And for three more seconds. One, two, three. Perfect, okay, so now we're gonna take our legs spread them apart. We're gonna reach up towards the ceiling and all the way down to the ground. See if you can get your hands all the way to the floor. If not, that's okay. We're just going to hang out right at our knees. And then I want you to walk your hands all the way over to your right foot. Touch your toes if you can. And let's walk all the way over to our left foot. Touch those toes. And let's walk back to the middle one more time. Nice big stretch here. And let's come up, reach towards the ceiling one more time. Big breath. Okay, now that we've stretched, we're gonna get our blood flowing a little bit. We're gonna do some bouncing activities, no ropes yet. So we're just gonna be moving our feet. Um, nice and simple, but we should definitely be breathing after this a bit. So we're gonna start, I want you guys to hop on your right foot 10 times. And let's switch to the left foot. And back to the right. And left. Now we're going to switch back and forth with our feet back to the right. We're going to do fewer jumps in between switches. Go back to left, back to right, and left, and right. And we're going to go faster still, right, and left. And now only one bounce on each foot. See if we can bring those knees all the way past our waist and hit them with our hands. And perfect. Now I want you guys to do 15 jumping jacks. Ready, set, go. One. Go ahead and count along if you want. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost there, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, now the final bit before we get ready to jump. Shake our whole bodies out, arms, legs, head, everything. Ready, set, go. Shake everything out. Spin in a circle. And the other way. Okay. I hope you guys are feeling warmed up. I know that I am. So we're going to get ready to grab our ropes and start learning some tricks. Hey guys, it's Shane one more time. And uh, now we're going to move into one of my favorite pieces. It's a five minute jump rope circuit. Um, where we're going to be working continuously for five whole minutes. So get ready to get tired. Uh, but that's the, the good thing about this. And so for each minute, we're going to cover five different tricks, um, which we're going to go over in just a second. But first, I want to explain how this workout works. Um, the clock is going to say go, and then we're going to work for 20 seconds on, and then we're going to have a 10 second break. And then we're going to do that again each for each trick totaling a minute. Um, and so don't worry about uh, getting confused. I'll keep you guys on track and tell you what's coming next. Um, but for now, I want to cover the five tricks. The first one being um, continuous crosses. So we're going to stand across the whole time. It looks like this. Whoops. It looks like this. Cross our arms and just keep jumping. Um, so remember that the cross, most important thing there is big bear hug. Um, Arms nice and tight, close to your body, and then keep that rope moving around you. The second one that we're going to do is high knees. So in the single bounce, we're going to go high knees, bring our knees all the way up above our waist. Get a nice good stretch there. The second one we're going to do is um, a beginner push up, and it kind of looks and feels like a burpee. So we're going to be jumping, we're going to go all the way down to the ground into a push up position. Stand back up and then take five jumps here before we go into the next trick. So just like that. The fourth skill we're going to be learning is a side swing. So basic jumps to start, swing to each side, and then back to the middle, swing to each side, and back to the middle. And the last one we're going to learn is a can-can. So start with some basic jumps. We're going to bring our knee up um, just in front of our bodies, back down, and then we're going to kick that same leg. So it's a half kick and then a full kick for each leg. Looks like this. Perfect. So those are the five skills that we're going to be covering. And don't worry, I'm going to keep you guys, um, I'm going to give you a warning for whatever's coming next. And the important thing here is to just keep trying. If you mess up, no big deal. We'll just get right back into it. Uh, go ahead and hit that track. Warm up. All right, guys, so get, your, get ready to jump. Our ropes are behind us, and we're starting with our first skill. Three, two, one. Jump is big. Minutes. And cross it. Good. Cross those arms. Three, two, one. Rest. And we'll take a break and we're going to get ready to do that one more time. Three, two, one. Jump rope circuit five minutes. Three, two, one. Rest. Good job, guys. 10 second break here. Three, two. And we're moving one. into high knees now. That knee above the waist each time. Three, two, one. Rest. And rest. Nice job, guys. A couple big breaths here. Three, two, one. Jump rope circuit five minutes. Back into those high knees. Three, 
three, two, one, rest. And rest, nice job guys. Okay, so 10 seconds here, then we're moving into our third skill, which is the beginner push-up. Three, two, one, jump rope circuit, five minutes. We'll go down, back up, take a couple jumps and then do it again. Three, two, one, rest. All right, nice work guys. 10 seconds here, then back to those beginner push-ups. Three, two, one, jump rope circuit, five minutes. Three, two, one, rest. All right, guys, keep it up. Fourth skill here, which is those side swings. Remember, side to side, jump in between. One, jump rope circuit, five minutes. Side swing, side swing, couple jumps in between. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome work, guys. One more set of these side swings. A couple big breaths here. Two, one, jump rope circuit, five minutes. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome, guys. Okay, we're moving into our last skill. Remember, this is the can-can. Half kick on, and then full kick on the same leg. Two, one, jump rope circuit, five Here minutes. Here we go. Three, two, one, rest. All right, you guys, last set coming up, last 20 seconds. Give it all you've got. Three. Nice big breath. One, rope circuit, five minutes. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Woo! Nice job, you guys. That was a lot of work. Uh, so take some really big breaths and grab a drink of water. Hi, everyone. My name's Alexandra. I've been doing jump rope for about 12 years. I was on the Coronado Speed Spinners competitive jump rope team. I was also on the national all-star team. I received first place of the Grand National Championship, and I've gone to do a lot of really cool things with jump rope. I was on American Idol and Disney Channel um, doing jump rope. Hi, Alexandra. Thanks so much for joining us for the heads or tails workout. So what I'm going to do is I am going to flip a coin. And if you get it correct, you only have to do 10 of a really basic trick. If you get it incorrect, you're gonna to have to do 20 of something even harder. So here we go. Our first one, if you get it correct, you only have to do 10 high jumps with no rope. So good job, yeah, that's great. So the jumpers at home will do that along with you. If you get it incorrect, you're gonna do 20 side straddles. So, and that one will be with your rope. Perfect, okay. Alexandra, is it heads or tails? Heads. It's tails, you got it incorrect. Okay, so 20 side straddles and all our jumpers at home are gonna do it along with you. Awesome, perfect. Okay, our next one. If you get it 
correct, you're gonna do 10 backwards jumps. And if you get it incorrect, you're gonna do 20 backwards jumps on one foot. So heads or tails? Tails. It is tails. Okay, so just 10 backwards jumps. Yay. All right, perfect. We have 10 of these and we are on our third one. So if you get correct, you're gonna do 10 skiers. So if you could show our viewers that, jumping side to side. If you get it incorrect, you are gonna do 20 bells, jumping forward and back. All right, heads or tails? Heads. Tails, 20 bells. <laughs> Alexander, this is fun to get to see you again. You've been on my jump rope team for, wow, a lot of years. How many years were you a competitive jump roper? 12 years, it's a long time. Wow. Okay, our next one. If you get it correct, you are going to do 10 left foot jumps. If you get it incorrect, it's going to be 20 right foot jumps. All right, Alexandra, is it heads or tails? Tails. It's heads. You got it wrong again. Okay, so 20 right foot jumps. It's okay. It's a good workout. This is perfect. Okay, the next one. If you get it correct, it's going to be 10 speed steps forward. So alternating feet as you jump. If you get it incorrect, you're gonna do 20 speed steps backwards. So, heads or tails? Heads. It's tails. <laughs> I'm not kidding. We're jump for me. All right, 20 backwards speed steps. It's okay, at least you're halfway done now. We're gonna be on the sixth one. All right, so this time, if you get it correct, it's gonna be 10 heel to heels. If you get it incorrect, it's gonna be 20 toe to toes. All right, heads or tails? Heads. It is heads. Okay, yeah. 10 heel to heels. <laughs> All right, great. So the next one is 10 double side swings, if you get it correct. If not, it's going to be 20 single side swings. So one side jump, the other side jump. Great, okay. Heads or tails? Heads. It is heads, so 10 double side swings. You are a pro with no misses. Wow. Okay. So this time, if you get it correct, you're going to jump around in a circle five times. So you're going to keep jumping and just rotating all the way around. And then if you get it incorrect, you are going to do 20 twisters. So twisting your body each time you jump. Yeah. All right. Heads or tails? Heads. It is heads. Okay. So jumping in a circle five times. Five times though. Oh. There we go. <laughs> and you can jump on both feet. <laughs> oh. I know you like to complicate your jump rope tricks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Awesome, Alexander. You're going to be dizzy after that. Great job. Okay, so the next one is. Uh, if you get it correct, you're gonna do 10 basic rope releases where you put the rope out in front of you, lift. If you can demonstrate that for everybody so they know what it is. And you're gonna lift and try to catch that rope. Good. If not, 20 crosses. So swinging the rope over, crossing all the way to your elbow. All right, perfect. Okay, woo. All right, heads or tails? Tails. It's heads. Incorrect, so 20 crisscrosses. Hang in there, you only have one left after this. Great job, Alexander. I love that you've got a smile on through the whole thing. You're amazing. 
Great job. Okay, last one. If you get it incorrect, or if you get it correct, everybody's gonna do a bow and arrow pose. So if you can demonstrate that, handles together, thumb down, pinch up the middle with your thumb, and you're pointing your handles. Okay, if not, they're gonna do the X pose. Yep, perfect. Okay, heads or tails? Heads. It's tails. So you're teaching everybody how to do the X pose, please. Okay. So we're gonna put one arm out in front like this, put one arm behind. You're gonna bring this arm over like this. So there's gonna be a big loop. And then you're gonna put your arm through the loop and then you just pull. And you get into these, the X pose. Nice. Well, Alexandra, it's so great to see you. But before we let you go, do you think we could talk you into doing uh, and sharing a quick jump rope combination for our viewers so they can see what an amazing, incredible jump roper you are. Yeah, happy to. <laughs> You still got it. Great job, Alexander. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.